Having serious issues with my shields. Light from the shadows. Incoming dropship. Enemy! useful. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. 
What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Dropships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. The patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter, then double back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. You got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the con. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in!
contact. is armed. We should move clear. It's Shepard. Shepard? Uh, I'm not complaining, but you show up at the strangest times. What are you doing in the middle of Get Space? I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. They've seen us. They're gone. You don't have optical camouflage technology.
get down. Uh, definitely like old times. Over here! Get to cover! Squad leader Kyle Rieger, Migrant Fleet Marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Allie's inside over there. Jeff killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. What can you tell me about the battlefield? The right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. The middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. I wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. <sighs> we don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit him for me. Keep us alive. I see you. <clears throat> this should punch through their armor.
Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Corians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. That's all I'm asking, Tally. I'll be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required.
Can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. something. Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. I've been thinking about you. And I you. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I guess you're lucky we came along when we did. It was an intervention by the gods. I would have died in that penthouse. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. You're alive because I wounded your pride? Pride is the line between a professional and a thug. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. Hey, Shepard. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. Good thing you broke up that catfight between Jack and Miranda. I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hole. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I hope we can go to Omega soon. Why is going to Omega so important to you? A matter of great importance to me. My daughter is an Ardat Yakshi. A monster. A killer. I have tracked her to Omega. I believe she is somewhere near the Afterlife nightclub. I need to find her. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know, relax. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know. Relax. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. 
This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. I have work to do, Commander. Go chat with your friend Jack if you want small talk. Pout if you like. I'll call the elusive man and complain to him. I don't pout. And I don't have time to call the elusive man every time you screw up. Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But thanks to you, I have a clan. I'm starting to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? 
Got some tension back on Freedom's progress, and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Hey, what's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. It's just, I'm not really a girls' club kind of person. I like you, all right? That's a good place to stop. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am.
Something I can do for you, Shepard? How've the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? I better go. My door is always open.